Calling Eve, everybody. A lifestyle and wellness movement for women of all ages, shapes, sizes, and whatever. And we all have body, mind, and spirit, and that's kind of what we want to take care of here because we have all three. They're all interconnected and we likes them and we need to take care of them. Uh, if you haven't seen any of these videos before, my name is Jesse and I usually run this ship uh, together with uh, once in a while my daughter, Ellie Mae, is with. Um, anyway, so I haven't been on for like, it's been two weeks because lately I have really been focusing on two things. Cramming for my nutritionist exam, which is tonight. Fingers crossed, pray for me, seriously. Uh, and number two, I've been getting used to a new medication for my Crohn's because I have Crohn's disease. And um, it's been really, really tough. I've been not so, so happy about it. And um, still kind of adjusting to it, but apparently that takes three months, so <laughs> yay. Anyway, we all do what we have to do. So what I was gonna talk to you guys about is, uh, it's November. November is a little bit of a tough one for me because uh, I love fall and I love harvest season, but by November, most of the leaves have fallen off the trees. They're kind of looking Tim Burton-ish, which is kind of cool, but it's a little bit gray. And winter hasn't come yet, so you don't have that brightness of the snow popping up everywhere. Um, and I tend to, and I know a lot of people do, get in a slump. Um, just kind of going, Ugh. you know. Like today, the kids are homesick. It, it's just one of those seasons. It's getting colder, people are getting, you know, you get the flu, you get whatever, and it can be hard to stay motivated. Personally, I'm looking around my house and going, there's like a mountain of dishes over there. There is piles of dirty laundry up there. And um, yeah, I need to go shopping for groceries. It's just kind of like, you wonder how everybody else seems to have it all, have it all together, because I don't. It's just, you know, everybody thinks that everybody else has their stuff together. And if everybody thinks that everybody else does, who really does, like seriously? I think it's just one of those things where we have to embrace our imperfections and say, yes, it's a cliche, like nobody's perfect, but nobody is. And um, when you get in slumps like these, like what I am in right now, you just have to say, okay, where am I at right now? What about my life is great? Because I'm kind of like, people that go, so hey, how you doing? You know, after a while, you kind of get tired of going, yeah, it's not so good. You know, plus, you know, it's like, you don't want to have to, you don't want to overshare with everybody, you know? Instead of lying and saying, oh yeah, everything's so great, like seriously, oh my gosh. Um, I'm just going to say, you know, life is good. Because life is good, even though there are things around that are not so good all the time. I'm kind of at the stage where I have to say, this is good. This is awesome. And I love this. Uh, I know last year, um, I know I did a uh, podcast, maybe it was two years ago, I can't remember, <laughs> uh, about me being like bummed out about November, and my daughter goes, oh, there's this, it's sparkly, mom, because there was like, the water was on the, on the pavement, and the lights were shining on them, and it's just sparkly, so it's like, oh, November sparkles, but it, but it is kind of like that, it's like, yes, it's a bit soggy. Snow's not here yet, but the rain sure is. But you kind of pick those little grains. What is it in my life right now that I can say, wow, it's really fun, it's really great. And uh, what do I have to look forward to? What do I have that is really special and really unique? And what is it that I love about my life? What is it that I love about myself? Um, there are aspects of my life where I'm not super happy right now, especially with my uh, my chronic illness, um, a lot of chronic fatigue, chronic uh, uh, pain and stuff like that. But that doesn't define me. I choose what I want to define myself. Both that I feel that, okay, 
the way God loves me, that defines me. The fact that His image of me, who God says that I am, that can define me. And God says I am beloved and I am beautiful and I am wonderful, fearfully and wonderfully made. I mean, seriously, people, that is, that is some amazing, amazing stuff. And in that knowledge that I am amazing, as I am, who I am right now, I can choose to make healthy choices, choose to love myself, choose to love my life, the life that I live, even though I'm not happy with all aspects, like, you know, I think all of us have it's, that our mothers at some point have had our kids say, I hate you. Um, and I've started saying, you know, no you don't. You don't hate me. You're not happy about some of the things that I'm, you're not happy about what my decision is right now. And it's sort of the same thing with life, you know. I don't hate my life. I don't hate this or that or stuff, you know, because I can choose to say, I don't like what's going on right now but I'm happy with me, I'm happy with who I am, and nobody else can define who I am other than who I choose to be, wanting to be the best that I can be, that God says I am, if that makes any sense. Anyway, so um, with that in mind, I hope you guys have a great continued November. Kids are going bonkers upstairs. I hope that you guys have a continued great November and that you remember that imperfections are just beauty marks. And things that we don't like about ourselves, everybody has them. Think of the things that you love about your life because I'm sure that you can find at least one or two. And so that being said, have a great week and I'll see you guys next week. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Seriously, click subscribe. Um, and please leave a comment so that I know what kind of videos you guys want to hear a little bit more of. And um, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.